In this video, we discuss the reporting option for the SB3 Batch Blender True Blend series. And you can see on the display here, we are showing the home screen for the True Blend Batch Blender SB3 model. And to go to the report section, we tap the report button. And on this page, it defaults to the on demand section of the reporting. You can see it's indicated reports here. And we're going to go through each of these different methods for generating reports. Uh, on demand is the default. You can schedule reports to occur at a certain time. You can log data from the blender. You can utilize a uh, reporting feature that we can install on a Windows based PC called TrueBlend Reports. Uh, and we can also uh, use a button called File Manager that allows us to access reports that have already been created. So beginning with the on-demand, the screen is laid out uh, to allow you to select the type of report that you want, uh, to select the type of style the report would be generated in, and the default is formatted. You can change the file name of the report so that it saves it. The default is this particular report is alarm underscore log, but you could change that to whatever name you wanted it to be. And then you also select the destination for the report when it is run. It goes to, uh, it could go to a USB port, it could go over an Ethernet Telnet connection off to a PC, or it could go directly to the compact flash inside the, uh, the Blender uh, touchscreen. So, if we were to select a different type of report, we would simply just tap this arrow down button and we have a choice of all these different ones here. So if we wanted, for instance, to run an on-demand of the shift report and we wanted a formatted style, we also have a choice here of a comma-separated file if you wanted to later pull it into Excel uh, to do uh, something with the data, you could do that. If you left it as a formatted report, then it comes out a nice pretty picture of exactly all the uh, different items in the report are detailed for easy, easy to read. And then lastly, you select the destination. So you could choose the USB port, you could choose Compact Flash, or if you had the Telnet connection established to the uh, Blender touchscreen, you could uh, send the report out to the PC. So we'll just run this shift inventory report in a formatted style. The file name will be this. Again, we could tap that and edit it, give it a different name over to the Compact Flash inside the Blender. And then we run the report and you get a progress bar, progress bar here that shows you it's actually running it. Give that a second. And once it's done, it actually displays it. So it shows you uh, the report that we ran. In this particular case, it was a shift report. It showed the, the, the total batches, it was 179 batches, total pounds for the blender for this shift, and then the pounds for each of the components uh, within that, uh, in that report and then the average percent for uh, uh, the recipe that's being run. It gives the time and the date as well. So this is a formatted report. It's very easy to, to uh, view. If it was a comma-separated file, then all these numbers would just be in a delineated list uh, that could be imported into cells uh, with an Excel-type program. Uh, if there was more than one page, you would certainly use these navigation buttons to arrow up and down. But uh, through the uh, through the report here, so we'll go back. Um, so that's on demand. Again, select the type of report, the style, the name, and the destination, and you run it. Very simple, very intuitive. The next item is to schedule a report. Uh, very similar in that you can choose the report that you want to schedule to occur. Uh, again, the style of the report and uh, you would simply change this to yes here. Uh, you'd select the destination and you would tap schedule to tell it when you want the first report to come out. And then after that, how often do you want it to occur? So this would be actually midnight, zero, zero hour, and then it would occur every hour after that. So you might want to set this up to occur at the end of your shift. So. 4 o'clock, for instance, might be the end of the shift, so it would generate a report. And then if you had an 8-hour 
interval between shifts, you would tell it to repeat every eight hours, for instance. And once you've set all that up, you actually save that, and it will do that scheduled report on that interval and start time. The next uh, feature for reporting is what we call logging. And you have some choices here about what you'd like to log. Uh, you can log every single batch that's made. You can log all the recipe changes that occur. And you can log the totals. And you would simply just change these to yes to make it do that. And in this particular case, uh, the totals would be uh, saved out or logged every 15 seconds, but you could change that also to a uh, maximum of 60,000 uh, seconds. 15 seconds is pretty often. You may want to change that to something less often. Again, you choose the, uh, uh, the destination. In this particular case, it's either the compact flash or the USB drive that you could plug directly into the touchscreen itself. Uh, and it would start to log all this information into the uh, destination. So that's uh, logging. Uh, the next choice you have is, uh, I mentioned earlier, is a, a, a reporting package that we sell called TrueBlend Reports that's installed on a Windows-based PC. And here, uh, we don't discuss TrueBlend Reports setup. That's in a separate video. But on the Blender, it's enabled here by, by telling it that you want the shift report, that you want the batch reports, and that you want alarm reports. You can save the recipe book. You can save information about the scale or the load cell uh, by selecting those as well. Um, and then again, a start time and an interval for the shift uh, report to occur. Uh, so that's TrueBlend reports. You can see the status is it's disconnected. We do not have TrueBlend reports attached to the touchscreen right now. If it was established, it would say connected here. The last button here is called File Manager which allows you to access reports uh, that you've run before. Okay, so we ran a couple of reports in the past, and we saved them off to the Compact Flash. If you had some on the USB port, you would tap that, and it would list them here. Uh, for the Compact Flash, uh, we can actually erase it by hitting Clear, by highlighting it and hitting Clear. We can actually view the file that we ran before, if you'd like, and it shows it to you saved off already onto the compact flash, so it's there. So again, when you ran these reports before, that was the default name. You could name them different names, and they would all show up, and you could scroll through the list using these buttons and choose the one that you wanted to view and, and view the file or erase it. So that's File Manager. So that concludes the discussion about the reports section of the Blender. Uh, we'll discuss other items with the Blender in other videos.